Hello family, it's Ajibade Lua Shun here again. Today I'm going to be teaching us how to use Photopeer, photopeer.com to edit mockups, PSD mockups and to mock up your logo or your design. So what you have to do is to go to um, Google and download your mockup. Okay, let me just show us how to do that. So any mockup you want to um, use, you can just go to Google and download it first. 3D mockup, PSD file so once you've downloaded or you can use um freepick.com to download it so this is it you just go exactly freepick.com once you get here they would show you where to go to okay so this is not why we are here we want to learn how to edit the mockups itself so you go to your google and search for photop.com photop.com okay so this is the interface so when you get here first thing i want you to know is that your phone has to be 3 gig ram upward with less apps so photopf because photopf um takes a lot of ram so you just have to be careful about that okay so make sure your phone is 3 gig ram upward then you are good to go okay so first thing you have to do is to click on file over here click on file over here then click on open then it will show you all this now you can import it from your gallery so this is the mock-up i downloaded this is what i'm going to be using this particular mock-up so just wait till it loads it depends two things makes your your um the mock-up to load faster your internet connection and the ram of your phone so if your ram is not really it might take a little time but you can see now so this is the mock-up this is the psd file that I downloaded and we're going to be replacing this 3D local mockup to my own logo. So the first thing you have to do is to once you once this has shown, you click on these three this three icon over here. This three icon over here. This three icon. Once you've done that, once you tap on it, once you tap on it, once you tap on it, it brings this up. So once this is up now if you can see there's this small box there's this small box over here this small box here this particular box these two small dots here double tap it then that way so once you double tap it can you see now it's showing that i can edit the mock-up can you see now it's showing me that you now have access to edit the mock-up so what you have to do now is to click on this eye icon to remove the um eye like to remove the logo that was there before now you want to replace the particular logo with your own so you are going to i'm just going to press okay let me show you what it looks like first so this is what is there but i'm going to be removing it so i'm just going to press the eye icon then it's gone look, look anna there's nothing here so next thing you want to do is to go to file again go to file again and click on open and place now you want to put your own particular logo on it so i'm just going to be placing my own logo so this is the logo i'm going to be using okay so this is the logo so now what you want to do now is to enlarge it enlarge it does draw it a little bit draw it a little bit then take it up draw it a little bit just to make it mobile so now then you central now you see it's showing the red um red lines that means both is both is centered and um, is aligned horizontally and vertically so that means once it's showing like that means your work is going to be seated properly on the mock-up so once that is done just leave it then click on file again then tap save smart objects just once you tap it once just wait just wait for it and you will look up to show you smart objects updated now once that is done your mock-up is ready to be used now click back on because we have two layers here click on the first layer to see the mock-up that you have done just tap on it it will come up so just wait for it okay so this is it so this is the mock-up this is the mock-up that we just did so this is how to create can you see it can you see how beautiful it is so now when you are 
when you, you've done this now the next thing you want to do is to tap on file again tap on file again then you click you tap on export as export as you can either export as png or jpeg it depends on what but i'm just going to be importing as jpeg so tap on jpeg that's jpg then it shows it shows you this now the next thing you can decide to edit the name here you can decide to edit the name you can decide to edit the name and rest so now increase the quality to 100 percent increase the quality to 100 percent then save your work now to show you downloading automatically it has it down so you can click on open to see so this is our logo mockup so this is how to create a logo mockup on photopia so i want to do another mockup so that we'll, we'll get familiar with it okay so now let's pick another mockup let's pick another oh click on open again open click on open then let me pick a particular mock okay let me use this mock-up so just like i said it depends on your data connection and your phone ram so don't try using 2 gig ram lesser to do mock-ups so just look at it so look at the mock-up so the same the same pattern click tap on these three um icon over here tap on it just tap on it then click on double tap this uh, small box inside where it is showing where it is showing your design here just double tap that small box inside now it will now you'll be able to edit it now remove look at it now you what you do now is to So just tap on it then remove this so now now you replace your eye so you click on file again then click on open and place then click on files so import what the design you want to use so i'm just going to be using this logo the same step i just want us to be familiar with it so now adjust it adjust it then increase the size a little bit then make sure it's centered vertically and horizontally then click on save smart objects again save smart objects And just wait for it to load. So once smart object has been updated, tap on the first stop to see what you've done. We have two layers here. So tap on the first layer. Now this is it. I'm sure you can see it. It's because of I use the the um cream that's why it's showing this and you can as well remove the background so import just tap on the three icon and just you see you can see background so you can see i've removed the background so it's as easy as that psd files you can re-edit them so that's how to do it thank you for watching do it to subscribe to my youtube channel because you'll be getting more videos like this on how to use your phone to design properly thank you and god bless you see you in the next video